welcome and today's lesson is all about the five feet weave. Now it's called a five feet weave because the poise turn a total of five times each side. Before we get going we're going to concentrate and focus on learning the hand action. Now if you remember the three beat weave goes cross and open, cross and open, cross and open. With the five beat weave, it's going to open and cross on the same side. Okay, so it comes across, open, cross, and the wrist cross, keeping them this side. The pink hand then wraps, and the white flexes. Okay, see it? Here it comes. Open, cross and wrap and flex. Now once you flex the white hand, it pulls across. So the white will be the leading poi when we come back this side. Open, cross, wrap, flex and Open, cross and wrap, flex and pull. Open, cross, wrap, flex and pull. Open, cross and wrap, flex and pull. Open, cross and wrap, flex and pull. Now that hand positioning is really important. So spend a lot of time just going over that like I am with the poi wrapped up and preferably no ribbons and things, no tails. Once you've uh, practiced that lots, plenty of times, you can think about introducing your poi. So get going by doing the three beat weave. And also when we learn new moves, try to concentrate on keeping the poi moving smoothly and slowly. It's always very tempting to speed things up and all that does is make the trick a lot harder because your timing has to be that much more precise. Okay, so I start with the three beat weave. Here comes the five. Now, wrap, wrap. So cross, wrap, flex, pull. Cross, wrap, flex pull. And see, I can go really quite slowly. Wrap and flex. Wrap and flex. And that flexing hand will make the poi overtake and lead on the other side. And you can also see I start to use my body on that pull help pull it across the other side. It's quite tricky, but a little bit of perseverance and I'm sure you'll get there. 